So now we want to try uh, playing with proportions with the body and try some variations on the head, something different that we haven't done before. So uh, yeah, we'll start with some shapes and play with how big the elements are, arms, legs, this sort of thing, and uh, see what we can come up with. I'm going to do two. I'm going to do a male character, a female character. You can follow along. Uh, also, uh, you'll see on the Canvas page, uh, after this video or behind <laughs> below this video on uh, canvas uh, some images I put up just some basic sort of shapes without any detail just so you get some ideas so you can follow along with uh, the two I'm going to do here and uh, please feel free to do more than that and submit uh, some variations of your own and uh, yeah let's have some fun so with the first one here, uh, I'm going to kind of start with some different shapes. Again, we've been using a lot of uh, squares and such. Uh, let's take a look at some different shapes. So I'm going to start with uh, a big circle, uh, which I'm going to bring up to a point. Uh, I'm going to try kind of a diamond shape head here uh, for the character. And... Uh, yeah, you know what, I, I'm, I think I'm going to try some very short legs on this character. And even though I'm thinking, uh, and uh, even keep reference of the, uh, uh, what we did last time, uh, you can see what you want to uh, add to this, take away from it, or... You know, what, want to play with those proportions or how much detail you're going to put in. So leave it totally creative up to you. So here, I'm going to try some things here. So here, I'm going to you know, have these clothed characters. So that now that's a whole different thing to be thinking about is, um, you know, what the clothes are. For the character and how does that help define the character for example on this one uh, I'm gonna have suspenders holding this characters and the pants basically there's a huge uh, circle here uh, of which you know he's got a large stomach uh, and and below and then leading into these very short legs I'm gonna give him uh, example, a short sleeve shirt and uh, take a look at the uh, arm here. So I'm going to still use the same ideas what I had before. I'm just going to make them fit for this character. So here is that hand, uh, fingers, here's the thumb going on here. I got this upper arm uh, coming into the forearm here a little hair on the on that uh, so making that smaller up here in the bicep and bigger in the uh, forearm so uh, we'll explore, explore that a bit more uh, here I'm gonna have this arm so I'm kind of using the same pose I did before you, you can use whatever pose that you like if you're doing your own uh, you can stick with what I'm doing here and having that palm up like I did in the, the previous one. So here I'm going to give him shorter stumpier fingers uh, kind of doing a wave here. So I'm going to have this character doing I'm going to kind of go with uh, yeah kind of that diamond shape in for the nose. I'm going to decide to get glasses on here. And I think I'm going to do a big mustache on this character. And then bring this out. I'm going to put some ears on that character. Come out this way. Give him some bigger ears. Oh, and I'm gonna give him quite big uh, eyebrows and some 
a messy hair here. There we go. So here, let's take a look. I'm going to put pockets or indication of pockets here on these pants. Again, how much detail you want to put in. So these legs are going to come in from that circle. The idea that you know there are knees down here, but the legs are extremely short. I'm going to put uh, kind of a rolled up end to the pants here. And then take a look at what I'm going to do uh, shoe-wise. I'm going to have this shoe kind of upturn here. And then have a heel kind of come up on there. Let's see if I can do a little better on this one here. There we go. Let me see if I can fix that up with uh, with the uh, pencil line. So again, I'm just trying to rough things in with that blue. Uh, then I can come back in with the lid pencil. Kind of give just a little bit more definition to what I'm looking for here. So here's that head shape coming down into a cheek, which is sticking out there. And I've got the uh, eyebrow coming out. Now the glasses, I can make this much thicker. It's got a thicker uh, frame on those glasses. There we go. Then kind of define this nose a little bit more. I could add a little bit of shading in here. Or you know if I want to shade some of the elements like hair or whatever to help separate things out. Again, you can play with line and if you want to experiment with shade, you can do that more later on, but uh, definitely if uh, you're up and wanting to be creative, please. I won't hinder uh, any of your ideas if you want to play with that. And again, if you want to follow along and then create your own and submit that, or submit both, that's all great. So here I've got a neck and I have a collar on this shirt, so I'm coloring that a bit dark in here. Shading that in dark and having that collar come forward, like so, and then an open shirt, and then having these suspenders, and the idea that they're clipping on to the top of the pants. Because that's the big thing now, and uh, we'll explore that a lot more uh, now that we're getting into more full characters here. And again, we're still looking straight on. We're going to get into three-quarter view coming up very soon. Uh, but where I guess I was going with this is that we're doing characters. And we want to define who the character is. And one of the things we can do is uh, look at clothing and find style that helps define the character. So here we go. Here's that back of the hand. Again, back of the hand, you would see knuckles if you're going to have detail. And here over here, I'll jump over to this hand. Here, let me get that short sleeve happening. And this is the palm. So that's where we're seeing that thumb where it can fold in here. And again, starting with that kind of square shape. And you can round off the square shapes and uh, make those work but here i'm getting short stubbier fingers happening here Bring that. Bring this around. yeah once we start going three quarters going to be a lot more structure and such uh, that we'll be taking a look at 
but here we just want to really start taking a look at the proportions so I really distort it again you can go even a lot further than this you can always push to get really out there kind of proportions on a character so again these lines here kind of indicating a little bit of a knee so you have a bit of shadow under there so we're uh, keeping uh, all the elements that we had before and here I got this big seam big zipper on the pants we go all the way down okay so let me see I'm trying to fix these shoes a little bit yeah this blue pencil uh, doesn't erase very well but maybe I can lighten it up so when I go to use the lead I can get that working a little better yeah I'm not doing a good job on this I was really trying to get some structure into this and again oops kind of straight on but a little bit of a three-quarter view so maybe that's part of the problem <laughs> yeah and I recommend never do your drawing under a camera while you're talking <laughs> and trying to keep a good pace going uh, to get your demonstration done but anyway there we go so we've got a uh, rather cartoony very exaggerated uh, sort of male character uh, really playing with proportions and uh, adding clothing and some different style and such to it so uh, please follow along and uh, again with the other shapes and things that I'll be showing uh, that are on the canvas page uh, pick up on some of those and make up your own characters male female whichever you like and uh, experiment with clothes think of style uh, as well as the elements you know we've already been looking at the head but try some more as you're putting everything together to complete uh, uh do a complete character so over here i'm going to do a uh, contrasting character i'm going to do a female character and i'm going to start with a bit of a circle here kind of look at the elements that uh had before So I'm going to make quite contrasting to this character, uh, much thinner uh, than that character. Let me see, I'm just going to try them. And again, still using a lot of the ideas that we did last time, is just push those proportions. See if we can make them uh, a lot more of a caricature. and exaggerate make it cartoony have fun it's character design i mean if you have a style and you like cartoony or if you got a different sort of style uh go for it it's all good it should be fun this whole thing should be fun uh let me see i'm gonna try some different things here again you can follow this video depending on your skill level and replicate what I'm doing and giving me your best interpretation. Or if you're far more creative and a little more advanced at drawing and such, yeah, be creative, have fun with it, all good. So here I'm gonna do some bigger eyes on this. That weird kind of pupils happening. small nose there there we go so trying to think again I kind of blocking things in but also trying to think style uh, clothes and the style of clothes so I'm going to give very thin arms uh, I think I'm going to have more of a puffy sleeve going on here and then bring it very small on the wrist and then try uh, maybe a slight different perspective uh, on the hand and try and do the opposite one here that going. again you can take your time I rush so that uh, I'm not taking making these huge long videos um, 
but I want to get the point across. And let me see, there we go. And again, the same idea from the last video, uh, but just trying to put it in context and give characters clothes and give them, you know, it's just some character, period. Get some idea happening here with who the character is. And we're going to explore that a whole lot more. Yeah, I kind of messed up. Oh, well, that could be. So, very thin neck, very long neck. Complete contrast to this character over here. Different hairdo. There we go. And let's see. And again, doing ma male, female characters, so you can focus on which you your preference is but get an idea of approach for both fill that in a bit there we go and then think wardrobe and how it fits onto your character and how your structure that we've talked about kind of shows through those clothes again here i've got a shirt Again, I'll put that line. <laughs> Could have been an accident on there. That's fine. These are working drawings. They don't have to be beautiful. This is uh, introducing uh, some concepts and things here. So seeing how we can apply those. Anyway, with the shirt, I was going to say that uh, where it overlaps on the pants is that it tucks over. So the lines don't line right up from one to the pants to the shirt. That uh, the shirt comes out a bit more. The opposite here, the pants were the dominant and they are larger and overlap the shirt. So those are some concepts uh, that you can explore. Maybe a bit advanced at this stage, but yeah, yeah, introduce, throw a bunch of ideas there. Grab on to which ones that you feel confident you can uh, apply to your drawing. And uh, yeah. So the idea is just do the best you can, have fun, and again, at whatever level you're at, character design should be fun, fun characters. And again, I'm doing quite the cartoony concepts here, although these ones a bit more complex, well, a fair bit more complex <laughs> than uh, the simple blocked heads and things that we're doing. But the idea of the... Uh, proportions and playing with those proportions and placement of things all applies to this step uh, the body as well as reintroducing the head here in conjunction with the body we can play overall with all the proportions and get a unique look for any character we come up with and the idea here for this one uh, I made sure that uh, the two were complete opposite characters contrast completely different just to give an idea of variety on such there okay so again these are two-dimensional once we get into three dimensions well it does get more complex but uh, we'll try and keep it simple maybe simpler than this but uh, we'll, we'll see how it goes and again uh, work within your comfort level and either replicate what's here or give me something creative that uh, you want to experiment with totally up to you okay so hopefully you'll have some fun with this and look at the other reference on this page and uh, get your submit. Okay, great.